Hello everyone, this is on official sando. Today, let me show my solution for this code 1055, shortest way to format string. As always, if you like my videos, please support me by subscribing my channels. You also can find a proper list for, for your interview in video description below. Let's look at the problem first. Uh, we are given a source string and target strings. We need to use a substring of the several copy of source to formulate target. Let's take a look at the first example. The source is ABC and target is ABCBC. And eventually we need to copy because we can use ABC for the source for first copy and we use bc of the second copy to formulate target for second example because target has character d which is not into the source string so we are not, not able to formulate target so we return minus one for the third examples we need three copy because we use uh, x um, for the first copy of source and we use z oh sorry we use xz for the first copy and we use uh, y for the second copy and we use x and z for the third copy such as to formulate the target string so we need a three copy let's look at the uh, slide first so if we assume the source length is m and the target length is n. Of course, the we can use a two pointer as a brute force problem. One pointer is to iterate from the source to the end, and another pointer to iterate from the target to the end. Um, for examples, we first iterate from x and the source and see whether it has corresponding uh, character. Here we find one, then we both move to second one of source and the second target. Since the second index of source is not the same character of second point of target, so we continue moving the pointer of source to the third index, like here. So here we find the, the same characters so we continue move the pointer from the source since we have already reached the end of the source we will back to the first one um, again and we will also continue move the pointer to next character y here etc since we restart our iteration pointers, we need to add one copy. So eventually we need a second copy to finish the problems. Uh, let's also denote total copy needed for the for the any example is k. So this brute force algorithms will require big of m multiply k complexity. The m is the source length. Then this look like uh, another algorithm to uh, speed up the computation. So here we use a hash map. We basically record all the index for the same card characters exist in the source string. So here our source string is x, y, x. So x exists at zero index and the second index. And y is existing the first index. Then we have still have pointers here, but we are able to do a binary search for the next characters so that we don't need to iterate the complete source strings. Uh, let's take this x is y for example again. So let's put our source pointers as minus one, means we are 
haven't stored the iterator yet. So as star we only the one copy uh, from the source. Then when we point to the first index of target, so the target string is X. So we binary search from the hash map. We find the first one uh, is zero. Then we continue iterate target. So then we reach the first index, which is X as well. So then we do the binary search for finding the next X exist. So basically we binary search from this array. This array is the, the values corresponding to the hash key of X. Since we're already in the zero index, so the next one will be two. So here we can directly jump into the two. So again, we only need one copy here also. Then we continue increment the target pointer two. So here we need a, a value of y. So then we come into the hash key y. However, we cannot find any index greater than our current index, current is two. So which indicate we need another copy of source string. So at this step, we reset source point to minus one because we need to basically reiterate the source string. We also increment the copy we are needed. Then we will do the same index again. So since we start with minus one, so we are able to use the first index uh, of the y values then the copy is still keeping us two. Then next, since we are already reached the end of target array, so we have done the order process. So as you can find, um, the computation will be less than the brute force. Something around log alpha, alpha here is means uh, how many binary search we need to do, but here is it's hard to uh, determine, but it's very it's pretty smaller than, definitely smaller than M. We still need to multiply K here because we need to iterate K times of the uh, target. Since we are using a hash map here, so we need to uh, take big of M um, space complexity. All right, let's look at how we implement this algorithm. So at first we create a hash map. We iterate the whole source string. So it's take big of M to uh, build in hash map. Next we uh, reset our source pointer, uh, reset copy needed. Also reset uh, our target pointer as well. So then we come into a while loop. So when we reach the end of the target uh, array, so we terminate the whole process. Then we uh, temporarily saved uh, the target character as cu current elements. So if our hash map don't have these elements, of course, we, we are not able to formulate uh, these strings eventually, so we will return minus one directly here. Then, then we are uh, going to do the binary search uh, for the specific character. So the search range is the, the vector which store the specific character. Then if our current uh, cannot get any uh, additional index for, for these values. So we will need to reset the source pointers and uh, increment the copy needed. Otherwise, uh, we can increment our target pointers and also move our source pointer to the, to the next uh, index one. 
So eventually, when we finish the whole target arrays iterations, we return the eventually the how many copy we need for the source string to formulate the target string. Right. So okay. So I think that's it. Uh, hopefully you like these videos, and uh, as always. If you have any comment and suggestion, please feel free to uh, post off these videos. See you next time.